G'day and welcome back to the show we done under. I'm Doug. It's Monday morning. It's time to get the week rolling. And we're going to do it. Jack the Barber, limited edition gold razor. And uh, we can see, just looking through the pack, that handle is a lot more user friendly than um, the original one, the chrome one. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to jumping into that real quick. We're teaming up with Paragon Soap, uh, Shaving Soap, and it's this is their Sunlit Forest Shave Soap. So there we go. Quite a heavy container. Just let you look inside. Looks more like clouds. <laughs> so it's um, apparently they try to make it a balance of citrus, woodsy, and floral notes. A lot of orange up the top. Woodsy, small, like a little bit of wood more at the back, and floral might be in there. So it's got essential oils of blood orange, cedar oil, tea tree um, oil, lavender oil. And it's a tallow soap, so it should be a cracker. So I'm looking forward to get into that. Um, yeah, let's have a look at this um, Jack the Barber before I get into the shave. Just take out the pack here. Looks good against the black. So hopefully that'll there we go. So that's the got the engraving of the logo on it. So there it is there. Feels alright in the hand actually, it's got a bit of weight. I reckon this is a little heavier than the original. Now you look at the head of that and you may be thinking, ah, oh, I've seen that, and you have with this bad boy. So I've had opened these up and if these two heads aren't out of the same factory, I'll be very surprised. So the gold one is a little bit longer. This one's actually heavier than this one. I'm pretty sure I read that this was a zinc alloy. So a nice lather going with it. Went into the bowl again. Yeah, when you got the um, water involved, you can the wood notes come through. So we're using the jag brush. So as you can see, very good leather. Very nice. So I know the Razor Tech head I had shaved with the other week was very aggressive. I doubt this will be in the same uh, category. Now this Razor retails in Australia and it's Woolworths that sells it for $20. 20 Aussie sets so around 10, 11 pound. Not sure that would be Euro, but an American is probably 18 to 17, 17 to $18 American. So, so far, so good. 
it is a mild shave. I can tell you right now, from the memory of the original Jack the Barber razor, this this one just feels better. Actually, this, this is all right. Hmm. Well, there's the first pass, the Cleans out easy enough. There's a fair bit of uh, soap in, on the head, the different passes over my face. And as I said, oh, this grip is much better than the original silver one. Much better. I think it's just a better razor overall. Okay, so let's go back over the site, and definitely the the uh, woody note has come a lot more forward now that's got the water into it. Now it's just a real um, orangey woody blend. Let's see if there's any of the floral. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not so sure on the floral, but. Um, I'm no expert either, so it could well be there. So, Brighton. What the hell is going on? We should have won that. We should have beat West Brom. How do you miss two penalty shots in a game?
And then that other penalty that we scored that the ref overruled, like what a farce that was. An absolute farce. I stayed up to watch it. Game kicked off at uh, 1.30 a.m. Like missing the first penalty, I was like, oh, you've got to be choking me. And then the fast with the ref. Like, I should have gone to bed then. You, you know when you see events happen in football and you just think, this ain't going to be our day? That was that event. And West Brom's first goal, I knew it was going to happen. As soon as the game kicked off and they went down their end the first time, and I'm looking at our keeper, Sanchez, and he's got the sun in his eyes. So he's looking down the pitch. The sun's coming in from the diagonally from the right. I'm thinking, all they need is a corner from that uh, side of the pitch, and we're in trouble. He ain't going to see shit. You know, you know the word I was going to say. And, uh, and that's what happened. That's how they got the first goal from that corner. It was home ground advantage. There we go. Feel like those mad guys on the uh, Arsenal football channel. The supporters that go nuts when they lose. I'm feeling the same. I'm feeling the same. And I feel ashamed that I'm feeling the same. But I can't help. We should have won that game. Yeah, this is a good soap. You can smell it going on. It's not overpowering at all. The scent. It's there. That's nice. I like it. This is a very good soap. So, last Friday I said I had another shop story. And I do. So I will tell it. Uh, it has nothing to do with pierced nipples or anything like that. Which, you know, I can hear the groan now. The skinny little dude comes in with his skateboard. 
and you can just tell he's broke. And he starts mumbling on. And I soon realised the guy's either cooked or his mental health or his both. And he just starts rambling. Like he wouldn't shut the F up. Like even when he tried to stop him, stop mate, stop, stop. Uh, uh. And I don't know what he was talking about because it was a... It's like a mumble rapper. <laughs> You know, it's just, and the only words I sort of understood were Valium and Glass Pipe. And in the end, I gave him his five minutes of fame. And um, in the end, I just, I couldn't stop him talking. And I didn't know what he was talking about. And so I just walked over to the door and I just opened it up. I just held it up and said, come on, mate, come on. Got to go, got to go. And even then he was reluctant to go. Like he wasn't being aggro or anything like that. He was just... And, um, and he finally walked out the door. My other bugbear hadn't happened for a while, but it happened the other day as well. Could have been Thursday. Dude rolls in, walks in the shop. Go, mate, do you reckon I could just charge my phone here for a bit? No, I'd spend 50 bucks and let's talk about it. No, he looked shocked that I said no. What's wrong with people? And it wasn't like he was, you know, a repeat customer and he just come in and say, oh, look, can you just do us a favour? And I thought, oh, yeah, all right, you, you bought for me before, and, you know, five, ten minutes. But he was just a no one. I'd never seen him in my life. Did have this girl come in yesterday, and she had a, sh a, a shirt on with no bra, and the shirt was unbuttoned past her breasts. And it was hard to stand at the counter because we end up started chatting because end up she worked in the uh, adult shop game herself uh, briefly. And it was hard. It was hard to keep your eyes up. Eyes up. I'm just one of the lads. What do you expect? Just cleaning up here. That 
that's got it. And what made it worse is it looked like she had one breast that was a lot larger than the other. And so obviously your curiosity is there as well. Like, is that what I'm really seeing? And you want to just look and go, oh, yeah, it is or it isn't. And then there's the other side of it, the animal instinct. <laughs> and don't worry, if it was one of my girls working in the shop, they would have been found it hard not to look themselves. I know that. I know that for a fact. I know my girls. Rightio, let's get back to the shaving. Still spewing about bright, and I. Let's get back to this bad boy. Just give it a quick. Just uh, give the cap a bit of a polish up. Um, what can I say? This is this is much better than the original. Uh, shave was a bit better than the original. And so look, it's 20 bucks Aussie. You want to try it out? Go for it. But Just close this up. This is the one I bought for my partner off of Etsy. And I think this comes in well under um, 10 bucks Aussie. Uh, jungle culture. And this is better than this. And this is cheaper. But you'll get, you just you got to check your uh, postage. So the postage might even it up for value for money. You look at it, your handles are relatively the same length. This is actually heavier than this. I would say this is full on metal. This is a cheaper gray. This is much heavier. I actually, I've shaved with this, not that I've got a green one. If you go back through my early videos, you'll see it there and it's, it's better than this. But if you just if you don't want to shop online or whatever, and you're just doing your shopping at Woolworths and you want to try this out, give it a go. Twenty bucks is much better value than the original. The original was um, well, yeah, I wouldn't have bought the original if you know it wasn't good. This soap was lovely, excellent uh, lather, couldn't go wrong. The scent is really nice. As I said, in the pot, it's more orange up front. And then once you got the water in and mixed it up, it was a nice blend of orange and, and uh, wood. And I think it was cedar oil that's in there. So that's probably what I was smelling. And the odd little nick here today. Who knows what that was from. So... Today, we're going back with a Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mail aftershave balm. I do like this one, and I do like the Le Mail um, or the Parfum, 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 I think it is. Classic nail scent. Hopefully that's enough. Bought a nice um, World War One military set razor the other day on Sunday morning. Would have been a uh, Saturday evening American time. Probably take another six or so weeks before I get hold of it, but yeah, I can't wait to show it off. No, 
that's just one of the all time great scents. Just beautiful. Okay, people, thanks for sticking with me. What have we got? 30 minutes. Um, have a good week. Uh, look out for my unboxing video on Wednesday that will pop up in your notifications. Um, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Uh, have a great week. Chat soon. Ciao.